people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome to my PAX West 2024 vlog. I was very fortunate to attend Steel Wolves FNAF 10th anniversary booth at PAX West this year. I was there the first two days, Friday and Saturday, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you around the booth, what type of activities and attractions they had, including the very special demo of the Secret of the Mimic, but I'll also have a more in-depth video covering the demo soon. So without further ado, let's go back to the very beginning of this trip. Good morning. And by good morning, I mean that in the most literal way possible. It's freaking 3 a.m. Oh boy, it is Friday at 3 a.m. Getting ready for PAX, which is today. Fit check. Going for the depressed Charlie Emily just waking up at 3 a.m. But really wants to go back to sleep fit. So I got to leave in like 30 minutes to catch my flight. I land in the morning of Friday, so... I'm gonna land and then have to go like right to PAX West. I then proceeded to vlog nothing else except for one vertical second of me walking to my airplane. Even with 100,000 subs, I'm still terrified to film in public. So let's just jump to the actual convention. My travel buddy was the hottest dog throughout this entire trip. So mad, mad, mad shout out to him. Pretty fast, bro. Pretty fast, bro. Pretty spotted. Pretty, Pretty fast, fast, we found him. We found him. We found him. Go, go, go. Go. I see the big I sign. Look at this. Yo, hold up. Yo. Yo! And then right as we go to turn the corner, we actually bump into Daco and John FNAF. Oh, it's him! It's John! It's John! He doesn't even know we're here! We're looking right behind him. He has no idea. Oh, is that Lewis right there? Is that Lewis right there? They don't even know we're behind them. They don't even know we're here! What's up? How are you? How are you? Oh my god. It's so cool to meet you. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to see you. You're getting caught up in the the boys. I'm doing a tax write-off. Say hi. <laughs> tax like, say hi to the government. <laughs> Hottest dog actually had a special gift for John, which was a little trophy. And if you looked inside the trophy, was a printed-out picture of the Nightmare Own plushie. You're a very dedicated theorist. I think it's worth this. What is this? What is this for? It's just for your hard work and dedication oh to the franchise. God. Actually, but I think you missed something. I think you got to look somewhere for it. I think you, <laughs> I think you found it. Are you serious? I think you found Did it. Did you make this for me? <laughs> I, think, I think you missed something else, actually. Maybe you should turn it around. <laughs> you turn it around, maybe. <laughs> Did you miss a few plushies when you were looking over the games? <laughs> It had a gigantic Freddy statue. I believe this was actually from the Funko HQ. That's what I was told. Seems like they brought it over here to PAX West. Walking around the outside of the booth, we noticed a few other posters, mainly the Fredbear and Spring Bonnie posters from Security Breach, another advertisement for the books. They had a whole bunch of neon signs as well, the 10th anniversary cupcake, Freddy's, you know, signature, a whole bunch of the icons for the characters. And then my personal favorite was the gigantic Mega Pizza Plex logo with all the Glamrock animatronics. And when I say that this sign was big it was absolutely massive i could not get it all in one photo and then as we're finishing up our loop around the booth we notice a gigantic puppet animatronic made of course by the incredible dregler sauce their eyes would light up every now and then to jump scare you they had the actual music box tunes playing from the animatronic <laughs> Here we can see a good shot of what the main booth area looks like. It seems to be like a recreation of the FNAF 6 stage area. There was a prize counter with a whole bunch of FNAF merchandise and books that you could win. YouTube pins. Oh, Lally. Lally game, Lally. Lally game. Lally game. Yes, the hand. Someone's water bottle. There are pin the tail S mini games for the Roxanne and Monty posters. Where you're blindfolded, you have to pin on Roxanne's eyes as well as Monty's sunglasses. And then off to the right side of the booth, they had three arcade attractions. The first one was the token machine from last year where you could win a special 10th anniversary FNAF token. I got a token. I got a token, guys. I'm rich. I'm gonna buy Fazbear Entertainment. It's gonna be all mine. The next machine was a personality test where you'd grip the machine, you'd hold your hand there, it would read your aura, I guess, and it would assign you your personality character, ranging from a whole bunch of characters. Mr. Hippo was try again for some reason. My goat, Mr. Hippo. I actually got the puppet, which was quite fitting because I was actually dressed up as Charlie. And then they also had an ultimate custom night arcade machine. It really wasn't an arcade machine. It was just a computer with a mouse and keyboard made to look like an arcade machine. How fast can he die? <laughs> Hey, hold on, that sensitivity is really high. Hold on, I'm not used to that. 
camera, turn off the camera. We also had the Teen Team Muffin crash the game by getting the old men consequences Easter egg. I'm gonna kill myself. You don't do what? Spam, spam, spam. Download for that world. Download for And then J Top went up on stage to debut a brand new walk around character. Even when someone has slipped, he's still like, uh, Fred's birthday day, man. We're not responsible for anything. They have Scott on Donald right now. Oh my gosh! He's real. I knew it was Yo, someone shoot him with a Fazer Blaster. The TV spins. Oh my, he's got, wait, he's got mimickers. What? Those eyes are a little more orange than you. Yo. I wonder if there's some mimicry going on here. Well done, Poshify. Get Poshify a big round of applause. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, that's my boy. Show the mimic. He's right there, the mimic. The caution bot came out, he was so adorable, but then it was time to debut yet another new character, and the hottest dog and I already knew who they were gonna bring out. It's Roxy. It's Roxy. It's Roxy. Roxy. Yeah! You were the best! My baby girl. My baby Say my name. <laughs> Say my name. Roxanne, it's the hottest dog at YouTube.com. Say my name. Look at those lashes. Hey, yo. J Top, relax. Hey, yo. Much like last year, they had a few FNAF props up on display the Vanny mask, a Faz Force figure, which was awesome, the brand new larger daycare attendant figure from U2s, as well as the return of the Faz Wrench. And then the man himself came out the real Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazington. <laughs> but we had no time to meet Freddy Fazbear right then because we have heard rumors. Every single creator and fan that came up to us at this point said, Have you played the secret of the mimic demo yet? We knew exactly what we had to do. We marched right over to the other side of the booth. We sat in line for a very long time. And then finally, we entered the booth. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Wait, there's something, something going on down there. Look, record it, record it. No! No! <laughs> Guys, this kind of looks like puppy playtime. No legs, bro. I think, oh, oh, that's Lauren. Lauren application. I think it's puppy playtime. Oh, maybe the mimic. Maybe the mimic. That's not the mimic. Now, unfortunately, Steel Wool has had a very strict rule on filming inside the demo play area. So we're respecting their wishes, but I will say the demo itself is really, really fascinating. Unfortunately, my headset vision was a little blurry, and the demo itself, there were a few areas where I was really confused on what I had to do, but visually, in terms of like graphics, animations, character design, set design, I love, love Secret of the Mimic so far. Of course, it still is only a demo in the game's not set to be released until next year at some point. So there's still a lot of work to be done, and I know a few people have been split on what they've heard in terms of the demo's gameplay. I'll admit, even after playing the demo, there's still a bit more I'd like to see from the game before it completely sells me on it. And maybe it's because my vision was so blurry and I was a little confused by the instructions in the demo itself that's bringing the game down a peg for me. But it was still just an absolute treat to play this demo. I'm really, really intrigued to see where this game is going to go, what it's going to be like. And like I said, I'm going to have a video really, really soon detailing the demo a bit more in terms of what you actually do in the demo, the characters, the brand new characters that were shown off. So definitely stay on the lookout for that. But now continuing on, after we played the demo, we went into the party area itself. This is where we played all the arcade machines I showed you earlier. And then closing time was coming up on day one. So we made our way over to the Sanchi booth. They had some of the new Fredbear plushies, actually, hottest dog picked up the Monty plushie. I believe Tracy got the brand new Fredbear plush. And then at the end of the day, we actually found out what was in the goodie bags that the first 50 people at the booth each day would get. I apologize. I can't remember exactly whose bag this was, but as you can see in the bag, you have a whole bunch of goodies from the actual pins that Cassie wears, which are exclusive to these badges to, of course, the printable heads, a poster, some like temporary tattoos, and then our favorite item, of course, were the various cards you could collect. So after seeing the incredible stuff 
in the goodie bags, we woke up bright and early. We got there as soon as we could to try and guarantee our spot as the first 50 people in line. We got in line, we counted everyone in front of us. I believe it was like 37. We're like, okay, okay, hey, we should have a shot at this. And then disaster struck. I let him in front of me. <laughs> The hottest dog and the TNT muffin were able to get through, but they cut us off right as me and Tracy were about to enter. It was the worst moment of my life, followed up by the absolute best moment of my life, seeing my two goats go head to head in a limbo contest. You got this, you got this. Oh! Oh! I don't think it's possible. Oh! Dude, oh! It's, really oh. Well done. Oh. it's, it's down to my two goats! And then Glamrock Freddy came out to say hi. Interestingly enough, it seems like he's a bit more beaten up this time. Freddy! Hi, Freddy! Hi, Freddy! The hottest dog and the Teen Team Muffin were able to get their goodie bags, and Sam actually had a friend with them. They were also given a goodie bag, but because they didn't necessarily want it, they actually gave it to me. Now, because it was only fair, we did split the cards you got in the goodie bags between everyone else in the group that didn't get through. We had a few other people in the group at the time. I think it was me, uh, Tracy was there, underscore, uh, ID's Fantasy as well. We were also gonna have a contest. Whoever made the best paper plate pal would get the printable figurine, though it seemed like no one really cared except Tracy, so she just ended up getting the printable, as well as a balloon animal I got from a steel wool employee. It was a dog which of course we named Fetch. Though unfortunately rest in peace Fetch did not make it past TSA. But after all that they finally let us through into the main party area. Freddy was there to take a few more pictures though unfortunately me and Tracy were cut off yet again to get pictures with Freddy. Happy birthday! But then we made our way over to Arts and Crafts. I made a sad looking staff bot, Happy Frog, and then I also just took Freddy. Don't tell Steel Wool. And then this is what I made for Paper Pals, a pretty chatted up looking Freddy as well as the Purple Guy Sprite. And then after that, I really didn't film much else because I wanted to experience the booth. Though we did notice a pretty interesting typo on one of the signs. Steel. 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 But then ending off the day, we noticed that Freddy was getting ready for a photo op. So of course we had to get in line for a Freddy photo op. And I took probably one of the most horrendous photos I've ever taken. I'm meeting Freddy Fazbear, you're telling me I'm posed up like that? But it was all made better because we took this fantastic group photo, everyone with Freddy. They opened the party area for one final mini game. The winner would get the prototype Funtime Foxy Hex Plushie. And you won't believe who won. So I, I won the skip around, right? Where the skipping where it went around. And he said I won, I beat it after only three times. And then I got the prize voucher and I said, Doggo told me specifically that if I won, I was able to get prototype Funtime Foxy Hex. And I won and I didn't. And I now own the prototype Funtime Foxy Hex plushie. Yeah. And this answers the question, what's the hottest FNAF merch? What's the hottest It's FNAF. this one right here. But then it was getting close to closing time, so we all went back up on the stage. We took a lot more photos. I don't know why I'm turning blue here, though. We met up with Doco one final time, and he actually took a shot at 50-20. Oh, he's gonna do it, and he's, he's gonna scream and cry when he beats 420, just like the original one where he goes, <laughs> It's happening! Oh my gosh! Wow, he's gonna do it! He's gonna be the one! After that though, I was invited to a meetup with some of the folks over at Steel Wool Studios, which I am so, so grateful and thankful for. I was actually incredibly shocked whenever a Steel Wool employee would come up to me at PAX West, because number one, I thought I was gonna be in trouble. I thought I was doing something wrong, like at the booth itself. But they'd come up, they'd be like, hey, like everyone at the team like loves your tweets, love what you do, which is so, so surreal. You're telling me that Steel Wool Studios gets their news from me. I'm just so, so incredibly grateful that I was invited to meet up with some of the Steel Wool folks. I unfortunately, couldn't stay long, so anyone I met at that meetup 
thank you so much for inviting me. I'm so, so sorry I had to leave. I had to go catch my flight. It's just really so, so incredible to be given an opportunity like that. So I am forever so, so grateful to all the folks at Steel Wall Studios. You know who you are. And of course, a massive shout out to all the fans that came up to me that asked for a photo or my autograph. That is such a surreal experience. Everyone was so, so nice. It truly made my day whenever someone would come up to me. And it, it really warms my heart knowing it made their day as well. And finally, a massive shout out to all of my creator friends. I'm almost terrified to start listing names because there were so many amazing people I met. Some people I've been friends with for years that I finally got the chance to meet in person here. And some creators that I just met there. Everyone I met there was just super, super nice, super cool. It was an honor, a pleasure meeting you. I'm not gonna lie, I've always considered myself to be like in my own little bubble in the FNAF community. I don't really engage with anyone else. I mostly just stick to like reporting on news. But meeting everyone there, cracking jokes, you know, having a fun time, really, really amazing experience. So thank you all my creator friends, all the fans, see you all for making this such an amazing event. And it seems like Maybe we're gonna do it again next year. But that was my experience at PAX West 2024. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the booth, whether you went or not. And like I said, I'm gonna have a very big detailed video on the Secret of the Mimic demo coming out very, very soon. So stay on the lookout for that. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.